Hello everyone, before we get started with the regular program, I'd like to take a moment to just thank my sponsors. Jiffy Ice Augers, Otter Outdoors, Reed Sporting Goods, Northland Fishing Tackle, Quantum Fishing, and Lure Lock. Hey everyone, Shannon Cruz here from the Outdoor Cruise, and on this episode we're going to cover Lake of the Woods, maybe not specific to Lake of the Woods, but general rental tips and tricks, items to bring to make your fishing experience just a little bit nicer. First thing I want to start out with is music. Music is the first thing that you want to bring just to break things up. We have Bluetooth speakers that we connect to our phones that we keep up here. We used to we used to actually bring radios. Um, could be movies, could be a portable DVD player, but bring something to play in the background or it just it gets a little too quiet. So that's your, your first tip of the day. Next is a comfortable chair. So we like camp folding chairs like this. They've got the sturdy back, solid seat. Fold up like this, they still pack pretty nice. Stay away from the fold up camping chairs with the with the soft bottom that swoops down. They're not supportive enough in your back and you end up hunching all day trying to trying to jig and, and move around with uh, with the fishing. Next thing we're gonna talk about are buckets. Yes, buckets are good for everything. You can see right here, you're gonna need a bucket for your fish and it might even be debris. You're gonna need a bucket for your rods, anything else that uh, your, your rod holders, I should say. We use it for some of our homemade lights. And the last thing you could use a bucket for is for supporting your locator. What you really wanna do is get that locator up as high as possible so that you're not hunched over looking at your graph. You want your graph right here. That will save your back countless, countless times. You can see right here, we have a device that we've uh, uh, kind of made, uh, my camera guy Vince made for us so that your our locators are up so that when we're sitting here, we're just viewing a screen right here and we're not hunched over like this. So. This device right here doesn't work everywhere in every situation, but this is, when we get back from fishing all day, we're not sore. So something like this can be devised. You can also see rod holders. Rod holders are another huge one that you want to bring. And you can see that this device has a rod holder into it. You can see that we have many, many types of rod holders. There's another one. This one was put out probably 10 or 15 years ago. Um, it, it comes in, it folds down just like the rest of them, folds down to something flat. There you go. So these devices are very nice, very useful, um, to have, cause you're going to be getting up and you're going to be walking around when it's slow out, you might be helping your partner out. Uh, again, there's, there's many of them out there. Take, take a look and, and search around, but don't, but don't forget them. Uh, another good thing is garbage bags. You don't always remember that. It's an easy thing to forget, but you have garbage out here. When you get up north, also remember that uh, they separate their garbage. Keep your cans in, in one and keep regular garbage in another. And don't forget to split those because that's what they do up north. Um, another item for a bucket is a bucket potty. Bring a bucket that is specific for just going to the bathroom in, and you might want to bring a garbage, smaller garbage bag liner for it. That's pretty pretty common up here, but very easy to forget when you get up here in a rental. Uh, for the girls, take a take the the foam tube. They're like they're like a dollar at at uh, Walmart. You can cut them down the center so that they have something to sit on and it's warmer. Your wife or girlfriend will appreciate that. Or daughter. Um, phones and cameras. You can see that I'm over here looking at this one. I'm recording with it. But take pictures. Share the experience. 
I'm one to say that, but you need a, a good phone. That phone can be used for your wireless. The phone service up at Lake of the Woods gets better and better every year. It's phenomenal. The spot, for some reason, we're in both Verizon and AT&T is working great for us. So bring your regular cell phone. If you get, we're close to the Canadian border, you might get a, uh, a message on that, but most plans cover it now, so not to worry about it. Um, good middle bucket. You can see over here, we use the angle cooler. This is the 30 quart. There's two ways to go about this. They have a 19 and a 30. For four guys, we use that 30 quart, and they have an automatic bubbler. We usually keep that back at the cabin. We have a little extra room out here today. We just brought it. Otherwise, you keep that back at the cabin with the aerator on. Use your 19 quart to bring out to the ice house. That way you have fresh minnows every day. Buy your minnows. You know, we try to buy locally. We bought at Lucky 7 when we came into Bodette this year. Worked perfectly. So it was three scoops, 20 bucks, 18 bucks, something like that. You, you kind of pay that everywhere nowadays. So it wasn't out of, out of the out of the ordinary to do it. So shop local when you get up here. Uh, they appreciate it. A rod case. You can see here on my left, I have some, some handmade rod cases from Vince. And on my right, we have a couple other styles. Of course, you know me, you know, check out that, that Otter 40 inch deep is the rod case to buy. But the reason I say rod cases is when you're out here and you're out and about, people are walking around in these houses. That's how you break rods. If you take a bunch of rods and stick them in a bucket, they're going to they're gonna catch on you. They're going to catch on you. You're going to break a rod tip. Rods are too expensive to do that nowadays. So get a good rod case. Take out a rod or a couple rods that you're going to use. They're easy to do. They flip up on the chairs. You open them, take out a new one, put it back in there. They're, they're, they're safe. Uh, checking my list, a light. Lanterns and lights. Kind of a two-parter right there. At Lake of the Woods, you fish from 9 to 4. That's when fish bite. That doesn't mean they don't they don't bite at night. It's just that you're not going to get that many. You'll get a lot of eel pout. So be aware of, of when you're going to fish. But Lake of the Woods, 9 to 5 bite. But you can, like in this case, they're bringing us out in Ranger. So we use a various amount of types of lights. Here's just a nice little LED one that we pick up, you know, and you can see it's it's plenty plenty bright. You're only going to need it for an, an hour in the morning, an hour at night, but it makes things very, very convenient. And again, Lake of the Woods, 9 to 5, banker's hours. Um, if you're fishing Red Lake and you're in an ice castle, you're going to need lights all night. You know, you'll have them in the ice castle, but you'll need to go outside at night and, and get stuff. So have a headlamp. Uh, a light, something that portrays lights throughout the whole thing. I have a lantern. You dig out your old Coleman lantern if you'd like it. Um, Kleenexes. Everybody seems to Kleenexes, toilet paper, paper towels. Great things to have in the ice house. Um, another thing is right here, a fish towel. We like to have a fish towel hanging around, always right next to some forceps too. If you don't have these, in your tackle box, you will need them, okay? They are extremely handy. You get a fish with that's deep hooked, you can get it out quick and get them back in the water. Uh, fish towel, of course, that's just for the slime. There's eel pout up here, and they're, <laughs> they're thick. Um, two last things, glowing your lures. You can see over here, we have a, a, a handmade glow tube that we put together. I should say Vince put together. We run it off a battery. It's just a piece of PVC. And you can get the lights right off of Amazon. You glue them in a cup. It, it's pretty slick, pretty simple. That thing will last all day. It hooks right to the, the side of the bucket. That's what we use. It's very quick. The last thing that I want to mention. Every house you go into has some sort of rules 
or regulations right on, you know, you turn around right up, Vince can turn around quick right up top there. Those are rules up there. Those rules are there for a reason. And that reason is respect the houses. They have styrofoam insulation here. Don't start writing your names on them. Act like an adult. Be adults, people. But these guys put a lot of work and a lot of hard work into these houses. Moving them around. Respect them. When you're done at night, pick everything up. Get stuff in a garbage bag. You know, middle heads. Don't leave trash. Don't leave sunflower seeds. Don't leave cans. Don't stick it under the house. It's still there. Let's respect our lakes. That's it right now. If you guys have any other additional tips, leave them in the comments below. Or if you'd need anything else from me, let me know. Shannon Cruz from Outdoor Cruise, and we'll see you on the next episode.